Hello, welcome back to another game on Arena. 1v1 between Tato and Mr. Yo. This is from the Who is Number 2 event. So you probably might have or you might have seen this game, probably have seen this game. And it features two of the best civilizations on Arena, the Malay for Tato and the Aztecs for Yo. And to be honest, uh, I've seen uh, Yo play Arena Aztecs on uh, rare occasions but when he played them he was really 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 good with them so uh, one of the best Aztecs players on arena I imagine should be Mr. Yo he just feels he just knows how to play it he's not an arena player I think he doesn't know a lot about the other arena civilizations or civilizations on arena and how to really play them he might know in general how to play them, but there's specifics that uh, arena players know better. But Mr. Yo, as a top expert player, he feels, he knows how to play Aztecs. And I think it was against Vivi where he played really aggressive and in the end won that uh, with an amazing attack. Uh, was some time ago. Now this game is featuring him against Tato, Secret Tato, playing in blue here as the Malay. Malay, one of the very strong arena civilizations and I think, or in my opinion at least, one of the best players, uh, arena, one of the best uh, Malay players players on Arena should be Trakond. I would love to see other players try and beat him. Like, bigger civilization against Trakond's Malay. But Trakond hasn't been active too much as far as I know. So... I might not see that too soon. Uh, still, Malay, very, very good. Let's see how this game is going. And let's see how Mr. Yo is actually trying to use the Aztecs advantage. And, or if it is an advantage, I don't really know. I think I've seen uh, somebody say uh, Malay counters Aztecs more or less. Or at least uh, they should be really, really neck and neck on Arena. And then it probably depends a lot on the players. I think Tato should have shot this deer. He is trying to. And I was a little bit late on that, but it's not a big problem and he was too late. The deer is running back. Uh, number two event probably a lot of lag between those two players uh, from Spain to China. That uh, could be a few hundred milliseconds and would explain why the deer ran back here. Tato is not going to give up on it. He's going to get that deer under the TC. I'm pretty sure about it. Let's see about the maps now. For Tato it's actually looking good because the main stone on the side for Rish but main gold safe in the back. Second stone safe in the back. Second gold safe in the back. Extra gold safe in the back. That's awesome and only third gold outside on the left hand side but close to the walls. Extra barriers, that doesn't really matter. One relic close to his base on the left hand side, one on the right hand side. You could see the deer being inside, which is nice to have. So Tato should have a good start here. As for Mr. Yo, he's been luring the deer in already. I think they were probably uh, around here somewhere at the front. And Boris probably were inside too. Main gold, main stone forward for Mr. Yo. This is not too good. Third gold on the right hand side is outside. Second gold on the left close to the vault, but also outside. Could wall this if he wanted to. But uh, we're seeing this on occasion, but not too often. And I guess it's not going to happen here. As you could see, Tato clicked up a little bit earlier, but it's getting the fuel age a lot earlier here. For Mr. Yo, extra gold and extra stones safe inside the back of his base. He could see the extra stone, did not scout the extra gold, and he's got the second stone safe in the back, which is nice to have. So if you would get tower rushed, which is not going to happen in this game, obviously, then you would be fine here. Uh, one relic on the right hand side, close this one more or less in the middle of the map, and this on the left hand side. Yeah, a little bit closer to Yo, but not too much. Tato going for a relatively fast feudal age, has a lot of farms up, is low on food. I think he did go for the upgrades, that double bit and possibly horse color. Yes. So he's using that uh, go to feudal age fast, uh, stay in feudal age for some time, go and then go to castle age in a reasonable time approach. And it can work out. I'm not sure if it's better, but I guess Tato uh, was saying, yeah, for me, it should be better here. He's got a lot, a lot of farms up already. And if you're going to castle in a reasonable time you should be able to get a good boom in if you want to or go for whatever you want and we have the main gold now being uh, built on the mining camp here three villages there already Mr. Yo on the way to Castle H in a normal time, I'd say. 27 population, 1438 is really good here. And he's only gone for one lumber camp. Uh, micro macroing his villagers. Uh, micro economy, I think it's called. Nine villagers on that one um, on that one lumber camp is interesting, but it was uh, so well placed that I think for now he is fine here. And there is a barracks coming up, so he wants to go for those eagles, I expect at least. And he should try to go for the relics as well. Wheelbar coming from Tato now too. That's something I have tried to do before and I think it's working out pretty well. You can see it here. Tato is on 630 food already. If he's garrisoning the villagers, he 
will have all the food that he needs to click up to Castle Age. He's going for one more. That's 32 plus 3 from the wheelbarrow. That's technically 35 for the chest, which uh, would be the equivalent to a 30 pop-up, I think. And 15.58 is going to be there before 60 minutes. So that's a good, uh, reasonable build order, I think. And Tato should be fine here unless it's Mr. Yo is going really aggressive on him. Then this could get interesting. Gold mining upgrade even coming in. Double bricks and uh, horse color already done. So he's got food, uh, spare food to uh, spend on these upgrades. But his cast stage is going to come in very fast. You don't want to spend too much. And he should have enough for the bow. So maybe even for... The heavy plow upgrade. Wheelbarrow should help a lot here. I think the British has gather, uh, gather a lot more food uh, going up to Castle Age and then compared to a uh, standard build order. Horse color and bow, so coming in from Mr. Yo. Only now he's got a monastery up, his house in 35, getting a house here, trying to chase down the scout calf. And you can see it here one eagle on the right hand side waiting for a monk to uh, try and grab this relic. And on the left hand side, the two eagle scouts here. Uh, the first monk is going forward to take that relic on the left hand side here. Can Tato see all the relics? Not sure about it. He can see four of them. I think he's missing the one on the uh, close to Mr. Yo. Yes, and Yo should be able to see all of them too. But let me find out if that scout is actually surviving. It might for some time. Mr. Yo cannot see this relic. I'm really surprised. And Tato is saying, oh, he's running into a wolf. That's bad luck here. Tato doing handcart already, but that villager is doomed to die here. That's really, really bad for him. But uh, shit happens, as we say. Now uh, he needs to send another villager to uh, Wallace, and he's doing that already. The wolf will die now. Uh, I guess he deserves it. Is, Tato has three TCs up and running, one on the main gold, one on the wood line. Nice triangle here. And he's got a very decent boom going. Handcart already done, and I was at 1740, I think. So the boom should be really, really strong for Tato here. He could buy some gold if he needed it. And a uh, siege workshop is up for uh, Yo. He's got a few Eagle Scouts here waiting for the chance to do some damage. And he's obviously getting all the relics in. He's got two already, number three on the way. And he will not be able to get this relic because it's uh, uh, getting walled in by Tato. Nice to see this, actually. I like this idea to secure this part of the map. But Mr. Yo will have four relics and the ram is already attacking the walls. We're at minute 20 and something sanctity on the way Mr. Yo is staying on one TC I think he sold his stone oh he's got two TC sorry but he's probably sold 100 stone and that second TC on the second gold on the wood line in a dangerous position but as long as Mr. Yo has the map control I don't think this is going to change too fast it will be fine here wall going down Tato quickly trying to wall behind this doing a siege workshop and Tato is on stone now with uh, watch is coming up probably wants to go for guard to our defense here uh, few palisade gates on the way and is this completely walled? I think it is but there is a monks that soon gonna have redemption and those houses aren't really that strong Manganel behind this uh, the Eagle Scouts don't have upgrades but this is still a dangerous and a um, yeah effective attack I think look at this uh, Tato had to quick wall a lot now is uh, like panic gathering stone and the front of his base is already open there is a watchtower coming out from the TC but it might not even go up really and Mr. Yo is enjoying himself now because he can do some damage but he wants to do more obviously this is not going to be enough and is uh, able to take down a few more religious university to get the guard tower upgrade we have a little bit of a mangonel fight but the monks are moving forward and now Tato is not going to be able to go for easy Manganel fights. Instead, that monk is trying to convert that Manganel. It's not successful here. The tower actually went up. That ramp could try and attack the tower. And for now, uh, um, Tato seems to be fine. Then again, Mr. Yo clicked up to Imperial Age already. Staying on, having two TCs, 54 villagers. And that's one of the thang, uh, one of the, one of the th strength? Oh my god. Uh, one of the good things that um, Mr. Yo is going for him. He definitely knows how to use the Aztec's uh, economy power to his fullest advantage. Yo is gathering a lot of resources and he's using a few units that he made. It's not a lot, 30 military units for now. Um, to do a lot of damage. He converted houses, the blacksmith, no, but a market got converted here. So Tato needs another market. He built that one already. And with Squire's game and armor on the way, handcart even coming in. And the pure age for Mr. Yo is still faster than for Tato. I think Mr. Yo would have a good attack going. Also, Tato has enough stone for a castle, but uh, Mr. Yo, does he have a castle already? No, he's moving forward. He just bought stone. He has enough resources to afford this. And he's probably going to put a castle right around here to be extra annoying. And yeah, that castle is coming up. Very nice position, in my opinion. Eagle Warrior on the way, chainmail armor coming in too. And castle will be up a little bit too late, but it's not a big 
big problem here. Tato go for his own castle trying to protect the main uh, TC as well as his uh, complete base. And he's moving to the right hand side now. He's opening the walls again to maybe try and go for extra gold. I don't know. He's got that extra gold in the back of his base which he did not scout. I'm a little bit disappointed about this. Uh, he might need to use it later on. Uh, but for now, trebuchet on the way for both players. Barracks coming up inside uh, Tato's base. That's what you're supposed to do. You want to have the short reinforcement race. And that Mangalon is just annoying a little bit. Elite Eagle Warrior on the way. Plus two defenses done. Plus four. Uh, needs to wait for a little bit. Mr. Yu is saying, hey, there's gold to take. I will take it. Eagle Warrior production is still going. And the second trap on the way. Also for Tato Vesta for Trebuchet. We are way behind the castle for both. So it's going to be a Trebuchet against castle for each player. Um, we are going to see uh, two repairing villagers for uh, Mr. Yo, a few more for Tato, and I think Tato has a little bit of an advantage here. Uh, he's also got a decent amount of stones still in the bank. He's taking uh, the main stone here with only 200 stone remaining. Archer range coming up forward. Chemistry Bracer on the way. What's the plan here? Arbalest probably. What's the plan to defend against the Eagle Warriors actually? I'm not sure. Tato is going for Archer ranges, and I don't really like that idea. Elite Eagle Warriors now moving in. Plus four defense done to take down these trebuchets. Ooh, that is so good. That means Mr. Yo is gonna be able to hold on to his castle. Those two barracks still producing another barrack coming up outside of Tato's base. And the castle is getting attacked by another trebuchet, but it's still not going down. Arbalest coming in from Tato, and Tato has a good amount of resources, not too much spare, but it's okay. Finally, the castle going down, and Tato is uh, holding on to his castle for as long as he can, but it's really close. That was 190 something HP, and by Bye -bye. There it goes. Tato needs to buy a few little more stone, maybe to go for another castle somewhere. He is putting down watchtowers instead. Guard tower upgrade coming in. I don't really like this decision. I think he needed a castle, to be honest. The watchtowers are not going to be able, uh, not going to be good enough to keep uh, Mysterio out of his base. And this attack with a siege tower and four armrest inside is going to happen soon. So you're actually putting a few houses here. Armless, can they go in? Oh, that's one only. And at the same time, let's see uh, what is Mr. Yo doing at the front. He's sending Lead Eagle Warriors back, a lot of them actually. So this might work for some time. And Mr. Yo might lose a few of those villagers. Doesn't have too many. 71, it's a decent number. But those villagers on the wood line, they are all pretty exposed. No defenses close. Actually, that's not true. Four Lead Eagle Warriors now coming in. And Tato is taking a turn for the worse. Uh, as he's now pretty much trapped behind these walls. He could do some damage from here. But that's not what you want to have. At the same time, Mr. Yo is saying, hey, I can convert bomber cannons, which are coming up from Tato. And I've got those Elite Eagle Warriors to go and attack. The Arbalest are not really too good against those eagles, as well as the villagers or the TCs, uh, they are in danger. Trebuchet now starting to hit the archer range here. Tato, 18 military units only, but there is a group of 20 elite eagle warriors moving in. A lot of idle villagers here. Looks like chicken running wild. And Tato is even moving out of his base now. Uh, that uh, elite eagle warrior, one single, is going to eliminate the rest of the villagers. And the arbalist obviously got killed here, here in the back. Tato is in trouble, to be honest, because he doesn't have a way to uh, fight those elite eagle warriors. And he's calling the Chi-Chi even. That's the power of Mr. Yo's Aztecs. He's even putting down another castle. And uh, I think I don't know another player who is using uh, aggressive strategies with Aztecs so well and so ideal deal as Mr. Yo is doing this on Arena at least. I hope you enjoyed this game. Tata lost this one and I'm not sure how the match between them and the number two war ended but you can look that up. Hope you enjoyed this one. See you in the next games.